Okay guys, so we're going to show you how you take a scan that you've taken in MeditLink or indeed if you've imported files via the import function on the top right there. And if you've got Exacad connected properly in MeditLink, then you'll be able to design your restoration and then take it through. And in this case, we've set up in-lab cam so that that crown can then be milled in-house on the same day. So we've already got this administration set up here. We've got the CAD function enabled up on the top left there. We've got 2.7 that's been marked as an onlay. We've got adjacent teeth. We've got the antagonist. So it's a zirconia. Let's click CAD. Let's get this party started. So if I click top right there, it's going to register this. It's going to open up the dental CAD app that's connected through MeditLink. You don't need to set the administration through directly in Exacad. It's all kept within MeditLink other than the CAD design. Now, if we are obviously exporting, then you will need to set this up. Now, this case isn't mine. This is just one of our students. So you can see it is this top right um, tooth here, uh, top left, sorry. So all we're doing is just telling the surface, uh, telling the software the surface of the scan here. And I'm assuming they're going to be doing something with this upper left five and this crown is just being restored first. So let's just do a quick, nice and easy job to get to the result with the crown. I'm not gonna spend ages on this. I'm not gonna design it. I'm not gonna be doing anything. I'm just gonna whiz through this so we can show you how you take it through into uh, the in-lab cam software. So I'm gonna click don't modify scan data and we can detect this margin line. Okay, so if we just zoom in onto this restoration here, uh, onto this tooth where we're gonna be providing the restoration rather, and let's just select round. I'm going to click a couple of points just around this tooth. keep adding a couple of points. I can move a point if we need to. Until the point where I think I'm ready to just manually correct it. So maybe add that little bit there. So then it'll set up this line. And then we can just migrate this line to where we need it to be. Okay. And you can see it's added a little bit of funky ones. We can remove these points as well if we want to by just clicking the right button when we are selecting left, dragging it, and then just click right. And obviously if we were doing this properly, spend more time on these margins, make sure everything is bang on, okay? Okay, so listen, I'm just whizzing through this. You'd spend more time, make sure those margins are perfect. Rotate around, get it good, okay? But for the purpose of this, let's just set that insertion axis by clicking next. Let it create the inlay bottom. And then place the model tooth, okay? So we can move this, I can hold control, rotate this. add the antagonist so we can see how well that's positioned okay rotate it get it good okay and then let it do its thing it's going to calculate and generate the crown adapt it to that margin and there we go and then we can zoom in we can smooth bits off we can add bits there we go. 
told you I'm not spending ages this this isn't a design tutorial this is just to show you the connection features but I obviously want to have to design this crown so there we go right we designed that crown we can adapt it we can check clicks uh, the static occlusion approximal if we had approximals whatever click next it's going to warn me because I'm not adapted to the adjacent, but there are no adjacents. And that's the crown design done. So I'm going to click I'm done. Okay. I'm going to click next. And then you'll see it's registering that. It's going to save that crown. And then if we go to the crown here, and you can see that that crown is then designed. I can turn that visualization on there. This crown is now in the medit files. Okay. Now, if I go to export this, you can see I've set up this folder, CAD CAM on the C drive patient exports. I'm just going to click the folder name as test case. And I just want the STL. I don't need anything else. And I'm going to click on the file list. I'm going to deselect everything, but I do want that CAD that we designed there. So it's important to just select that one otherwise just STL here on this screen okay just this STL I'm gonna click export and that's done so do you want to open the folder yes now obviously that would have the patient's name if this was a real case so you'd be able to find it easy but I'm opening this so that I can see which one it is okay and if we go into in lab cam so this is in lab cam 22 then we just need to start a new order we're gonna import items Okay, so then I'm going to go to that folder, the CAD CAM folder, patient exports. There we go. And I'm going to click STL. There's that case we designed. Open it. It's going to warn us about this, but we don't care. So then I'm going to, it's being built on an MCXL, so that's okay. Item type, we're just going to click crown, okay, or in layer, whatever it is. And you can, if you want, select the material, but you don't have to. Okay. So add information, this bottom icon on the bottom left here. I'm just going to rotate through. Okay. And you can see the margins aren't perfect on this simply because we did a quick tutorial. But I can run this around now by double clicking that first point. Click every now and again just to let, get this to carry on running around this edge. Just a left click here, left click there, just to, along that boundary, but it'll autom automatically magnet to that margin. So we are good. Then you'll see the right click arrow up here. So let's click that. And now we are good. We have our item ready to mill. So then we can just select a blank. So what a blank is, is the material we're going to mill. So I'm going to add a blank here. I'm going to call this Emacs A1 C14. Whatever it is, that's what you put right in as so you know that. And you could even add today's date so you know whichever block it is or whatever identifiable thing you can write onto that block if you want to reuse it later. So manufacturer, I'm going to click Ivacla Emacs. And then we'll choose the blank size C14. Save. Then we've got a blank. Now you'll see we can go through again. So I'm going to click right. It's telling us what we can do. We can rotate that into position, but it's already set this ready to go. Okay. This is the sprue, which if you watch our other videos, you'll understand about how to finish going through with that and how to take the sprue off and how to polish it and finish the restoration. Okay. But say we had multiple restoration, we could bring into two and we could set those up side by side there. And once you've got everything set up, if you want to, when we can right click, we can remove the restoration, we can change the position, we can mess around with this to fit it into this block however we want to do it. Okay. But I'm pretty happy with that. That's all good. So I'm going to click produce. Okay. If you want to, you can take it off. If you go back, we can add it back in again. Okay. But let's click produce. And then here, then we've got the production options. Okay. So if we've got this block, this is how it's going to be set out in the block. Okay. So we've got the detail level. It's limited to high on this. You can't click that machining mode fast or normal. Okay. 
Fast will be a little bit less precise. It won't go into the features a little bit, and you might get a little bit more chipping at margins, especially sharp margins, but it can save you a lot of time. So that's up to you. Try it both ways, see which one you prefer. So say we check, clicked fast. Then obviously, if we had a machine, right, then over here, we'd be able to uh, bring up the different machines that we'd be connected to here, um, which obviously you need to set up in the settings but then we'd be able to mill and we are done. So remember, if your machine isn't set up, then we can go to machine instrumentation. Instrumentation. If the machine's on, then we can just scan for new devices and it would find it. It doesn't find it now, but otherwise, once it's found it, we could click leave once it's saved and then it will show up in this list for us to be able to click and mill to. And that's about it. That's how you go through and mill. If you're milling a composite-based restoration, a, a hybrid ceramic that's finished so you can just mill it out and polish, then that's it. Otherwise, if it's something like Emacs, then you'll have to crystallize it, polish, glaze, uh, go through the usual steps, and you can watch our other videos for that. But for now, that is you good. Okay, and please enjoy, and good luck with your CAD CAM.